The year began with more than 300 people waiting in a county jail for a bed at a state mental health hospital. Hundreds of criminal cases on hold because the defendant was too ill. What we're seeing is that people are entering jail sick and leaving even more sick. Megan Baker keeps a close eye on the numbers. Over a decade ago, her group Disability Law Colorado sued over the long wait times and won. Under an agreement in federal court, Colorado promised to follow certain deadlines. Yeah, I mean, I think that it's incredibly dire. Dire, she says, despite the latest report, which shows the numbers have improved. While fewer people are on the list, there's still a long way to go. By January, most inmates who needed inpatient treatment waited in jail on average 95 to 126 days. The wait time is supposed to be just 7 to 28 days. You know, I struggle to say that I'm in a, in a place of optimism. I think that, you know, certainly it could be worse, right? But we are able to be more positive than we have been. Uh, in several years. Daniel Murray is one of the special masters in charge of monitoring Colorado's progress. Uh, but they've been able to staff the hospital better, which helps them open units that were closed. There's still much to do. The wait list is still long. It's longer than it was before the pandemic. Um, opening beds alone will, will never be the solution. The wait times to get a bed are getting shorter, especially for those in greatest need. Still, hundreds of people are sitting in jail for months waiting for a spot when they haven't been convicted of a crime. I would love nothing more than for this wait list to tank into the ground. And Colorado lawmakers are now considering a bill that aims to reduce this wait list. It could create a diversion program. So instead of restoring someone to competency, people will be referred to wraparound care. After a certain amount of time, the bill says the charges could be dismissed. Kelly Rinke, Nine News. Kelly, thank you.